Okay, to implement the feature for number of buttons or being able to set the space between buttons, we need to actually add those properties to the X control, a sliding menu X control. The only uh, available property at this moment is set button names. This property is the one that's used to assign the names that are going to be showing on the sliding menu. So you can see here on the display state in, we get the array of names when we're reading and when we're writing, we are bundling the array of names. So to add our new properties, we're going to right click on the sliding menu control and select new property. We're going to add for both read and write. And we are going to add a new property for space between buttons. Now we are going to add the code for these buttons, for these new properties. So for the number of buttons, these were already part of the display in uh, information because at one point we were going to, uh, I guess Eli was going to include this. So we do control space for a uh, quick drop. We are going to look for the unbundle by name. And we are going to find number of buttons, number of menu buttons. Create an indicator. I'm going to do control X to cut it and paste it on top of the value that will keep the connection on the connector pane. Now you notice that I still have a broken arrow. The reason for that is the name of this control has to be value for the property to work out. Okay, so we do that and now we're going to implement the number of buttons to write. For the number of buttons to write, um, I discovered that we also needed to change not only the number of buttons to write, but we also need to change the method. That's another of the values inside the display state cluster. So we're going to come in here and we're going to select number of menu buttons and we also going to change the method. Okay. So I create a constant and we're going to use the method resize. And we're going to create a control for the number of menu buttons. Control X, paste it on top of value, change the name to value, and make sure it gets wired correctly. And we are done. So we're going to do the same thing for the uh, space between buttons. And I'm going to pause uh, the video and do it and then just show you the results. So let me show you the code for the read. We are reading the space between menu buttons. And for the write, we are writing the method to be resized and the space between menu buttons. Now this is just half of it. Now we need to implement the code inside the um, facade. So I open it, Control E to show the block diagram, and you see on the display state change that we already had move up, move down, and then default. So here on the default, we're going to change that to include the code for the um, uh, changing the buttons because you'll see that if you scroll to the left. these values were always set to 3 and 6 and we were not changing them anywhere. So we now need to implement the properties that we just created so when the uh, user selects them, the developer selects them, that they be able to change these values. I'll put that in the next video. Thank you.